What's up everybody, this video is going to be about how you could have made a 5 to 1 risk reward ratio multiple times in the same day as requested. I told people on TikTok that I was going to make this video and also it's going to be an announcement about how to join the Discord right here. We'll talk about that later in the video. So as we said this trade right here happened on thursday both of these trades i did not take this trade it was at 2 a.m in the morning i'm not awake during that time and this is the trade that i did take i'm going to show both of them why we could have took them so on the one hour chart we came into this zone right here so let's draw that out you could have drawn it out like this and extend it out we had a break below that zone right there as you can see, which is if you cannot close below this, this is a key sign that there are buyers in this market in this zone right here. Volume will indicate to you on the lower time frame why that is. So let's look at that and see what it is exactly happened during that time. So during Asian session, we came, we started to push down, you know, sellers started to come in, but this is more retail trading sellers and not institutions because the volume started to die off as we came to these lower areas. The key is, is as soon as we came into the zone, volume did start to kick in. We had a big, large candle right here, but the reaction was not the greatest. We had a hammer candle form, which is the key to all of this. A hammer candle did form right here, continued up. Of course, this is going to be retail traders starting to buy because of this hammer candle. Institutions were buying on this drop. And a lot of retail traders starting to buy here because they're seeing multiple different five minute green candles forming. As you can see, this is the trade that you should have took, not in over here. The trade that you could have took was leading into the London session. And that was this trade right here because of the fact that we did break below this hammer candle take out stops that or anybody had stops below this. I'm sure a lot of people love to put their stops, you know, anything between five to 10 pips below. And we did break more than five, 10 pips. I think it was about roughly 20 pips, a little less than that. We broke below, took out stops and came in. So this is what it is. You could have took and no supply formed right here confirmation on this candle i would not enter right here i'd enter on the test of this 14 ema and once we came up to this level there was low volume indication of no selling activity so there is no more supply in this area now there is big institutions looking to go long as we led up into the london session you can see we started to increase our price action over here breaking highs so you know we have higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and this is a clear sign for non-vsa traders to start entering the the actual trade and for vsa traders your trade already happened right here could you have entered anywhere over here yes you could have you could enter for example on this inverted hammer candle reaction is key result of an inverted hammer candle is key to your trade for example you had it here why couldn't you enter it here is because supply started to kick in we drop pr price lower but with the price being dropped lower we did have an anomaly which basically means an irregular volume increase with a candle that should have been closed below if this was selling this should have closed below here then this would be a false trade but now as key is looking that there is buying pressure over here i would enter here you would enter here on this another no supply here confirmation right after that to enter the trade you could enter it right here i know it's more of a bigger stop loss if you would have put your stop loss below it have been about uh roughly two three dollars on gold which is fine depending on how you trade of course if you're a scalper that is not fine uh for a day trader that is should be fine for you to enter the trade 
and again we went long you had a five to one risk to reward, risk to reward ratio below this with a stop loss and your target should have been first here this zone right here not the greatest zone so you could continue with trailing your stop below this area right here we continued higher and you should have been out of the trade no more than this area right here which is 18 11. some people would have continued but personally if i had taken this trade i would have been out at 18 10. now the trade that i did take was this trade right here also same situation pretty much but opposite so how could you have taken this trade is you had a push up in volume on the one hour you could see it right here we had a push up in volume with on this during this time of day this is a pretty high amount of volume that came in 35.0 and you can see look at the volume that came in previous day this is high amount of volume there should that means there should be selling here because of the fact that the next candle after that closed bearish and closed below the halfway point of that body candle of that one hour so we look at the five minute this is our key when we're trading day trades i'll get into later videos when you're doing swings but when you're doing day trades you should get down to the five minute and find an entry so we found an entry on the next hour candle which was at around 8 a.m and we had a no demand form right here we had this no demand right here form you can see it's less than the previous two the candles on top of that it is a bearish candle with the next candle closing blow it automatically I enter the trade in this area i entered around i waited for the pullback a little bit into this break of these cluster of candles we pulled back to it i entered the trade around I think it was around 18 15 75 something in that range and your stop loss above 18 19 in that area we entered the trade i exited most of my position right here on 18 07 9 in that range i think it was but there was a five to one all the way down because your entry was at 18 16 and if you had a stop loss at 1819 that is about three dollars multiply that by five and you have a five to one basically risk to reward ratio all the way at 1800 it dropped so fast all the way down i exited most of my position all of it you can say the rest of it over here but after that the next day i'm going to talk about this real quickly and you could have re-entered the trade in this area right here the reason is because look we came back to the zone and this is right about london session i didn't i wasn't awake of course during this time we came back high volume this is buying pressure because of the fact the result was continuation if the result was a bearish that means there was selling in this area we continued higher and then you know price stalled there came back down to retest this bullish buying pressure we came back down to it retested on slightly low volume this is considered low volume retest this is a little bit different than what i teach but this is also to do with vsa as far as the candles go how you can trade it you can wait for a no supply which you did have a no supply form right here this is your no supply entry right above there stop loss below here so if you could have took this trade at 1802 and stop loss below there it's a big stop loss that's why i would take half of my size lots that i usually take wait for a pullback re-enter in that area if you see another continuation with vsa candles which would be something similar to this right here with a low volume test into that area continuation you enter around this this 1801 i would say as soon as we broke above this 
that would be your entry stop loss below at 18 1798 continuation to the top and you exit this trade uh, because it's friday i would exit it automatically into this area i wouldn't even rate i would exit all of my position and that was about probably two to one on a friday it's not bad on a friday to have a two to one risk reward ratio and that's pretty much the trades you could have took as far as the discord goes so let's discuss our discord so this is going to be the new discord just started it today on saturday july 10th and pretty much this is the rules you know there's no financial advice on any of my platforms anything that i have youtube tiktok anything the discord no financial advice at all from any individuals anybody saying they're giving financial advice will be automatically banned um we do not give uh signals unless you have a reason behind the fact that why you enter you're saying telling people to enter a trade or exit or stop losses or take profits when you enter certain trades and do not spam message it's all clear here for now for the vip vip is not up it will be a paid service i'm not going to tell individuals to join you do not have to join everything is going to be in the the general trading chat for the vip it is going to be the reason i am making a vip is because a lot of people that join discords are just people that like to lurk like to just look and sometimes be annoying so there will be serious traders that do want to learn vsa or serious traders that already know vsa or other types of technical analysis that want to join and be in a community of like-minded individuals so the reason i am making it a vip paid service is it'll be a very small monthly fee or just a one-time flat yearly fee i'll talk more about that later in the future after i get the kinks worked out with discords and we will go through it this is the reason i'm making this vip but it's not up and running right now so please when you join you can talk on the chat here we can trade you know trade over here and later in the future i will be doing live youtube sessions and they'll be announced over here so if you like this video please subscribe like comment and the discord link will be in the bio of the youtube below and any other social media apps that i have